Hajime Hinata, Sonya Nevermind, Kazuichi Soda, Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu, Hello World, Hello World, Hello World, Hello World, and Akane Awari. <laughs> I got distracted. As well as octagons, and rebuttals, and flails, and camera angles, and causes of death. There is only four words I'd like to say to begin this episode that can kind of accurately sum up everything about this entire thing. And it all... 11 year old lunch order? What? All it is is... This can't be real. Welcome to another episode of Mystery Mondays, we still only have two skills, but everything is breaking. It's just crazy. Um, something I wanted to do real quick, and uh, feel free to skip this if you want, here's a time code, or whatever. But I'm going to be looking over all the truth bullets, because I don't know exactly what I'm debating. So, yeah, we're just going to go through. The department populated by reserves core students who took general entrance exams, in contrast with the main department which recruited ultimate level students, established for secure funds for high academy. 2357 students in the reserve department were inflicted by drunkards despair and committed mass suicide, there was only one survivor. Tragedy of high academy, the result of the great Izuru Kumakura, ultimate hope, later involved in an incident which brutally murdered 13 members of the student council, despite the academy's efforts at conciliar incident. So and someone took advantage of this and broke their dissatisfied reserve department student into rising against the academy. The hopeless event was caused by a group known as Ultimate Despair and was responsible for completely destroying the academy. Though the other day, promotion to a certain person, they brainwashed masses and built countless people in despair. The term was adopted by the group responsible for causing the tragedy, but it actually originally referred to a certain female high school student named Junko Renishima. However, Junko killed herself at the climax of the killing school life as she lost to the students of the academy. Part of the tragedy, Junko and Nishima forced the students of Facebook Academy to kill each other, filming their deeds with school surveillance cameras and broadcasting it to the entire world. According to the report from the Future Foundation, there are apparently 15 people who are known as survivors of Facebook Academy, since all 15 survivors are safely taken in by the Future Foundation. Even after Junko and Nishima's death, an influential group known as the Remnants of Despair still exists, unless they are stopped, the tragedy never end. Everyone's names are listed, written under the list of subjects, lists written on a crypto newspaper article. The article was one it looks like a fully grown version of Hyoga Sayonji. Place black on the portrait hanging in the host's office at Hosepeak Academy found it Izuru Kamakura. For many years, Hosepeak Academy had attempted to create true hope by consolidating the results of all their research. What do you think What are you guys doing right now to understand? So, an email from Makoto. Program created by the World Foundation, Synthetic Virtual World, Neo World Program. In the Neo-World program, two observers take on the role of teacher and student respectively. Enormous amount of authority is given to the teacher observer, including the power to create rules within the program. Passage to enter the ancient ruin, even the teacher doesn't know it, but the person who set this passage has a number of very meaningful to them. A special command that can be used during a graduate exam to use this to kind of override the observer and possibly escape the Neo-World program. Not even the teacher observer can do that. And the most office were tragedy went into human history. They tried to choose the host of the academy among many who established the future foundation. And that's all. Okay. So now, hello world, hell world, hell world, hell, hell world. All right, let's go. <laughs> Last one. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this: What is this world's true identity? Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? So what's true identity? A fantasy it'll be true, and that lie will become the truth. But there's no way I can leave it unanswered. <laughs> Straight off the bat with a gambit. Oh my god. Does that fit? Oh, oh god. These are fast letters. I believe it is virtual. Oh, I probably shouldn't have broken that one. There we go. Yeah, it's virtual. Thank you for the eyes. R. Because those R's can just connect to each other. And those A's can also connect to each other. And uh, put more into that R, but... Break those. Okay, no. Okay, that's L. Can you give me... You put... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, almost completely missed. Boink. Where's the U's? Oh, there's a U! Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, God. Wait, what did I do that for? Oh, do it! Do it! Too late for that. 
Go, just leave. <laughs> Don't lose too much health now. I got it. It's a fake world. This world? This Jabberwock Island we're on? It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Hey, so this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? It's all just one big game. How about no? Are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? Um, no, we still haven't met the main cast yet. Please let it be what I think it is. If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? <laughs> this is getting meta. That's stupid. <laughs> There's no way that's even possible. I know, I know. The all in your mind trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Because it's a game. Then we were forced to kill each other. Cause it's a game! A lot of crazy shit happened. Cause it's a game? Cause it's a game! Ugh. We're the only people here. Cause it's, Cause a, it's a, game. a game! Monokuma's nonsensical abilities. Cause it's a game! Monokuma, please stop. Don't fuck with me! That's not even possible! Cause it's a game. I know Anna. you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. So, just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. What games? No, oh, wait, never mind. Games would have existed. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Ignore me. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. No, fuck you. That annoying as fuck. Get out. I'm not wearing contact lenses for that very reason. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not say we're fictional characters. Please, this is already meta enough. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. Shut it. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. So what would happen to those that died in the game? Would, would they have just been lost all neurological function in their in the real body? Or hmm. Which means your body still exists in the real world. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world, as if you're dreaming or something. Or something. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not aviators, but... You mean Avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. Memories? What did you remove? The thing that was removed from our bodies. Yeah, memories of our families. Our school memories. Wouldn't be the prior stuff. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? Avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the Academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! I won't believe. I won't believe. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! Games can be sci-fi, Monokuma. So it's virtual reality created by a computer model program. You can't just be to accept it. Is it believing in really anything we can do? Oh, already a four-person argument, but a five-person argument even. Oh god, he's gonna argue too, isn't he? Okay, all the bullets. I think that's almost all the bullets, god. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence! What does that mean? 
Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered the school. But your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Special world, I've just from the world. I don't want to believe something like that, but hmm. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence. Would it be the Academy's founder, would it? I know I just went through these things, but what did Oh yeah. No. What does that mean? A cultivation plan? Even though you just went and read that, being for people that skipped it still. Cultivation plan, oh yeah. True hope. Your avatars made of memories from before you entered the school. Wait, but perhaps. Your bodies in the real world are different. Let me guess at this you point. Have no memories of your time living your school life. Your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? This is a stab in the dark right now. A human being with a real body. Yeah, it was a stab. You're going to agree with me. I'd rather have you find a better argument than that. Oh, I see ya. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence! Hey, the reserve department, right? Because it mentioned how only one survived. Perhaps, I don't know. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memories, but your actual bodies in the real world, though you have no memories of your time living your school life. Take it. Maybe it's the other side. It's no mistake, right? Come on, tell me why. Your real bodies actually live that life! Perhaps? No. Hmm. Is there any evidence that this is Tragedy of Hope Speak? I oh, am. Yeah. You are the evidence. Cutting school life? Hmm. Four students. Uh No. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life. Nah. I'm just trying things at this point. Perhaps there's something that I'm missing. Your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? Mm. What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body. <laughs> there's something here. Am I certain Is that I, I no, 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 certain I can capture world? whatever? Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered this near world. Surely. Spirit by the future foundation, spread it the world. Possible to undo trauma it seemed real. Yeah. Creating hope. Though you have no memories of your time living your school. No. Nope. Is there any Starting really tough out of the gate, evidence. actually. Your real bodies actually live that life. Yeah, jeez. Your real bodies actually live that life. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life. There's n <laughs> this poor achievement. I'm never gonna get it. I I, I fully admit that now. There's no way. Unless the tragedy really is, yeah, caused by group ultimate despair. Brainwashed masses to countless people with despair. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life. What if? What if? What if? No, that was dumb. Your real bodies actually live that life. Yeah, there's no way. Unless I get a better hint, which I doubt I'm gonna get, but still. I failed. Straight up. Regardless of whether or not there's a punishment, it doesn't matter. Games need a game over, otherwise there won't be any tension. It's basically like a penalty, but for the sake of your generation, who needs to be constantly coddled, I shall grant you the right to retry. You won't feel despair unless you don't retry, you guys will just give up. So, please select retry. However, when you want to flee from despair, make sure you don't select retry. Is it going to end here? Without seeing the truth or the future? Of course not. I'm just dumb. No matter what happens, we will keep moving forward until the very end. Yeah, I'm just really dumb, I suppose. I'm gonna try one final time because I'm certain that this is not the truth. To try and absorb a consent bullet. I'm fairly certain that you can't do that. Your real bodies actually live that life. Yeah, it's not attacking, catching even. I'm a human being with a real body. A 
I don't want to believe something like that. Is there any evidence of like... This is subject to be like the only thing that links to us. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of me, but your actual body, though you have no memories of your time, your real bodies actually live that life. I'm dumb. That must be it. I'm dumb. Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There's a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Look like an adult? What does that mean? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. And you are saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated, Fuyuhiko. What? Uh, I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. No, hold on. If we didn't know each other before, we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other. And wouldn't he have noticed a difference? Okay, no. I'm sure this is the person. Wouldn't he have no noticed a difference? Oh, right, because Paco. Maybe. You're the only one. Yeah, see? Hey, Fuyuhiko. You knew Paco for a long time, right? Yeah. Now that you mention it, seems weird. No. Now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. I oh, have. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, never mind. <laughs> Strange? What is? Our school memories. About how many days' worth were taken away? As the creators of the Neo World program, only the Future Foundation would know the details, but around two or three years' worth, I assume. That long? Pekko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years' worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories, end of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world, and we're virtual avatars. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Things. Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. Kazuchi Soda, just, just cool yourself, please. This is a very serious situation. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? We're really 
just connected to machines and stuff. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then the Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Of course, that's also a virtual world. That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. Perhaps that was how I or Hajime sensed he was being watched by looking at the night sky all the way back in chapter one, I believe. Either chapter one or chapter two, I can't remember exactly. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why in the end... Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. So just the creation. That's the truth. Oh my. I like this already. The truth is... The truth is it was all a lie. That is the world's truth. If everything's a lie, then... What should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Uh, then that must mean... Of course, I knew it. Please be the truth. That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Oh, yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. Do not pull that crap on me, Monokuma, please. So, so you are saying everyone is still alive? Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Oh, Monokuma, please. Don't tell me. You mean... The Neo World program isn't just any game. It's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too! If you die in the fucking game, you die for fucking real. What? Then, everyone who died... It's not like their bodies are completely dead, so I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? What the game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then... Monomi and Shiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then... They were taken out. I see. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation! Future Foundation is our real enemy? Is that it? Is that really it? Ooh. Give me more of this music, please. Please! I want it injected into my ass. The Neo World program was developed <laughs> by... The Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys! Then the Future Foundation is... Truly an organization of evil! 
Here's our enemy. Is it Future Foundation? The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? I don't like how it's just these the enemy is the future broken with white noise. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Wait, no. No doubt this is a killing game, right? That's what we were forced to do. Need to think over it one more time. The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us. Wait, Halt Cultivation pl Plan. That was made by them, right? Okay, no. It's all and the Neo World program itself. Yeah, Future Foundation. There's no disputing that. And the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys! Then the Future Foundation is... Truly an organization of evil! Hmm. Who's our enemy? Can't be. The Neo World program was developed Wait, no. The future I, I think I got right? it. I got it this time. The ones who I promise. It's all the future foundations doing right. <laughs> I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Na, 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 na. I love this music. An organization of evil. Oh no, okay. Just as I assumed you agree, the future foundation is an organization of evil. I need a concrete evidence that, that would help prove that. Oh, right. The future foundation, right? What? But the Okay, so yeah, Neo Overgun created, but not developed. Maybe. The ones who trapped us in here. Unless they really do mean so developed the and created at the same point. Right. I mean, a group that would make a kill it. There's no way they're good guys. Then the future foundation is. Oh, I'm getting free seconds on those heavy ones. The Neo World program was developed by. There is. What's wrong with what I said? Future Foundation developed the Neo World program, right? Is this wrong already? Maybe developed is the bullet. The Neo World program was developed by. I mean, a group that would make a killing. Oh, I thought I missed, but still, it was a bad run. The Neo World program was developed by. Figures. I'm just gonna try everything with this first one. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't be this first one. Though. The Neo Future Foundation, right? There's no dispute in the future, future Foundation. It's all the Future Foundation's doing right. Tragedy of Hope's feet. Bada bing. Wrong one. Maybe. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. No. The Neo World program was developed. Wrong button. <laughs> the tragedy. Purpose event. Okay, no. The Future Foundation, right? Wait. Um. So. Okay. Creative is a recruiter. Hold the hope. They're involved in an incident with 13 council members. Excel the incident. Or is it a provide? And then there's also this, which is the, the founder. I mean, a group that would make a killing No. <laughs> Even if I'm doing bad at this, I like this. The, Neo the music, at least. By... Just being sure. Truly an organization of evil. No. An organization of evil. I don't know. Yeah, concrete evidence that would prove that. The Neo World program was developed by. Could it be the cultivation plan? The I mean, right? it's not stated at all here. being part of the Future Foundation, Foundation itself, but right. maybe it is cultivation plan. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Um, bada bing. Gonna the retry Neo again, I suppose. Alright. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Truly an organization of evil. I may just not get this at all. Who is our enemy? It can't be the Future Foundation, the can it? World program was developed by... Figures! Wouldn't have worked. What's wrong with what I said? The Neo program. It's wrong already? Ugh. Failed again. <laughs> I'm dumb. I am dumb. If I get it right again in this next instant, then that's going to be silly. Is... No matter what happens, 
Like, yeah, if I f immediately think of it, there's gonna be a, a repeat, it's gonna be silly. Hope it just doesn't happen for every single one of these. We haven't had any argument or rebuttals yet. The future foundation, right? What was wait, tragedy specified? Caused by a group. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Take it, I try it before I try the other thing. Truly an organization of evil. Nope. No consent. The Neo World program was developed by Crap. The Kidding School Life Bullet the is Junko forced students to, to kill each other, filming the deeds and boring the entire world. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Perhaps. It's all the oh yeah, yeah, that must be it. And the enemy is the Future Foundation. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. What? The Future Foundation, right? The is it really developed? I don't think it'd be developed. Truly an organization of evil. Unless I bring developed to evil. Organization of evil. The Neo World program was developed by Truly an organization of evil. No. The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation. The ones who They're gonna try this one more time. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Please don't tell me it's two retries. Wait, no, never mind. I already had two retries in a single one. It can't be that simple, can it? No way, that's simple. This is going to be painful in editing to see because it'd be like, hey, by the time you're watching this, you already know the goddamn answer. So you're just skirting around the correct answer the whole time, and then it's just really dumb. Whack! Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. Th then, why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be that virus is? <laughs> You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah. Didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject. But that's also something we need to clear up. Monami Usami's role that she had in the world was a teacher chaperone. Wait, no, she was. Oh, Crap. I got it wrong. Not an observer. I okay, I was gonna say magical girl, but that would have been dumb. I have no health! She was the observer of the Neo World program, isn't that right? That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer! Technically, everyone else was an NPC, and I'm just playing as the player character of Hajime Hinata, but details! NPC? What's that? Never play Cuphead, I don't know. Non player character character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program, just to monitor the 15 of you. Huh. Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? Have you forgotten how to count? We're 16 people in total. No, no. Chiaki. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Another observer? Akane. We already figured this out. That person. Byakuya Togami. I was like an Usami, like, okay. Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers in the New World program. One of them was Monami. And the other one was... Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? Aww. Th then... she wasn't human? She didn't exist at all. Not human? No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. 
Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Multiple times. Don't get all mushy towards a game character. Monokuma, that hits close to home. Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. World ender? Now that you mention it, you referred to the future foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the future foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No, there's no doubt that the future foundation is also world ender. At least for those of us here. For everyone who's here. Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? What, you can't talk? It, it is cowardly of you to just ignore us! Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived! Have they? Main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender! What? World Ender? Um... <sighs> it's not the future foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Makoto Nagi. With you guys. Alright, I was waiting for you, Makoto. You finally arrived. Makoto. M -m -m Makoto. <laughs> My name is Makoto Nagi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. It's been a long time, Makoto. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Hey, what happened? What is this? Is he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude. It's as if... He's being cautious of us. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation we're in? Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here! The Neo World program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. Hope Restoration Program? By now, you should understand your true identity. Huh? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Well, no. Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together, and try thinking about it. Put it together and think. Hey, it's a logic dive! Let's go! Wow. Let's do this. For realsies. So there's the jump button, just make it sure. Just in case you wanted to switch between the bumper or the button. Let's not waste ourselves, we only have so much left health. Like, seriously, if I get bumped twice, that's it for me. <laughs> I have to, like, either restart fully again. Like, I don't want to lose the hope not this dive. Like, at all. Dodging the things, I don't even really think about it. Question one! Murder 15 survivors of Host Peak Academy. Makoto and the others, not Hajime and the others, right? Because we were never. Oh, no! Okay! If you insist, video game, it was Hajime and the others. And not Monokuma. That's. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense because of the reserve department stuff. Alright. I mean, maybe. Don't blindside me with things from now, okay? Please? Bam. Really? Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, more of these things? Oh, great. Well, we failed a logic dive, finally. Rise the lot wherever there's a plasma, it doesn't matter because we need to retry. No matter what happens, we will keep moving forward until the very end. This trial's been a train wreck, but. The whole point of this project was to actually just experience the game itself, so... I understand true identities, yes. 
yeah, it's not that I wanted to be good at this game. I just wanted to experience the game for what it is, and if I mess up a bunch, that's my fault. Because I didn't understand it. But now, that we're at this point, if I mess up all of these things, it's like, okay, that's a thing that happened. But it doesn't really fully matter. I suppose, I might just be rambling at this point. But hey, I can't wait for this to be over. Like, it's not that I'm really, like, mad that this game is going on forever or whatever. No, I just really am glad that I'm so close to the end of this. Oh, whoopsies. They swapped the colors around on me. Alright, now for the moving things. Oh no, I've got an itchy nose, why? Oh, you know, I uh, oh no, I couldn't do it with both hands. Took one hand even. Uh. Jump. That was close. These things. Ugh. Am I just being dumb with not knowing how to really dodge them? I could just break, but... Oh, come on. That was mean. Come on. Look at this speed. True speed. Do do do. Question two. Remnants of despair. Oh, oh, okay, alright. That, that, okay, I understand now. Wait! No? It's the what? We are the remnants of this. Oh. 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 Okay. That is rather peculiar. I wonder. Jeez. Oh, just play this carefully, Josh. You don't want to mess up and go far back. I've already got so much stuff to, like, edit together in this one whole thing. It's like, where, what do I cut out? What do I leave in? There's a bunch of stuff to leave in at points, but oh god. Thank goodness it jumped over there. Why were hard to many others put into the program? To fill with despair. Ba da bum. Da da dum da da dum. To bring down the hope program. Oh, what? Really? Huh. Okay. So yes, I got them all wrong, don't worry. Everyone makes mistakes, I make mistakes, life isn't life without mistakes, it's important to know that, it's very important, just live with, with real life, but... Wow. Wow, just wow. Okay, logic dive complete. It's all coming together! Could it be? The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? And the remnants of Ultimate Despair are... Yes! Both of those phrases refer to you guys. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! We're all... Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid! In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that the dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in human Yikes. form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. They live solely to torment everything. To burn everything. To kill everything. We're part of a dangerous group like that? Th that's gotta be a lie! Try it. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair! That is an interesting sprite. We're all so far in, we have to see that new sprite. Oh, I have one. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys! It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room! Was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... One of them is blank. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? 
Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope the Academy. Hmm, there's not written in there. These profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. It's a file for a file. File for file file. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Nagito learned the truth. What he tried to do? You telling us to answer that? All right. What are we trying to to discern from this gambit? Oh, everything's just flying in. Wow. Um. Maybe. Okay. Boink. Oh shit. Okay. Bring that K into there. This is a rather interesting kind of thing. Oh. I pressed the wrong button for that. Um. Oh shit. Get us all. Everyone was the traitor instead, haha. -ha. He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. Oh, right, right, right. Case five. That's right. After seeing the file, you learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes. Because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair, I sort of understand that. Sort of. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Oaks Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope Speak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. Jesus, so they existed at the exact same time, wow. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became ultimate despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and our own bodies? Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! <laughs> Whoop! Eesh. What was that just now? A memory? But... That person was Nagito, right? Oh, oh, okay. Alright then, if you insist. It appears you've remembered a little. Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. You will guide us, after all. <laughs> Making our argument like always. Is it gonna be added to our bullets? It is. There's obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you even destroyed your own bodies. How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. We're being tricked by the Future Foundation! Doubt, Hope? How much despair is within you guys? What I believe is that if I consent with the other thing, then if it, just, if it did destroy our bodies kind of itself, then it would explain why Nagato's hands were the way they were. 
because you're our ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you even destroyed your own body. Yes. Oh wow, look at that. That's weird. <laughs> that memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was... He cut off his own arm. And transplanted a woman's arm? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What? what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. I, I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. Jesus. I, I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Oh. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Oh. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. Can't argue that, got that in evidence. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? And not just that. Some even tried to Ugh. have children with Junko's dead body. Fucking weirdos, Jesus! Just stop! That's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling, but there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be safe. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope Speak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? So you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the Hope Fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why all you need to do is choose Graduate. If we do that, we could get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Would that be fine, or would that not be fine? If you choose to graduate, and the Observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World Program, hmm. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars died? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Ahem, please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. How, two pages? Jeez. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... What are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Don't be ridiculous. 
If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. Crackle and pop. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? You're right. We tried to desperately just five so we can finally leave the island. If you don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... <laughs> Something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he just going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? Everything Monokuma would ever be pointless too. Not only that. Is it really okay for us to believe that guy? Should we get out, or...? Hmm. I see. Wait. Can we have some time to decide? Did you get scared like Sonya? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. As I thought, there's something wrong with you. Tell him, Hinata. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was nice. He just came to me in the moment, and it was just a great way to bring it back. Email! Of course, the email. I said I'm going to save you guys. Why aren't you listening to me? Let's do what he says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the future foundation. Boink. It's foolish to even think about it. Foolish fool. I know what it is. It could be either one thing or another. Something wrong with him. Something wrong with that guy. See? Save you guys. It's gotta be what de defy me? or deny. Whatever it was. Soda, please. The good guys, right? Like, it's either this and statement or deny. Or defy. I'm gonna try to defy first, though. The future foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the future foundation. Except you. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Washigoyo. How ironic. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the future foundation sent to you. Future Foundation 14 Division Makoto Nayagi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? Well, you're doing some serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the realms of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm. Think about this carefully. Your guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped recover your memories. You immediately return the realms of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything's for the sake of a hope filled future. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Huh? Is that email for real? A Future Foundation tried to kill us? Listen, Monokuma said that everything we found in that investigation was actual fact. Hold on! We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found were all real, right? Thank you very much, Akane, as always. That's not the only contradiction. What time? What this Monaco Monaco person even is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. To me, that's what seems much more real. So the person in front of us is. Tell me, Nikoto Naegi, who are you? Who is he? Simply put. He's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie! Cutie patootie doo doo I'm not asking you! I'm asking- You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! He's trying to interfere, then. Proof of Makoto Naegi is real, not- I'm gonna shove that in his face! 
One of these, okay. Hmm. Nice. I can't hear you. Better luck next time. What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you. You're getting all riled up. What, what are you even talking about? Enough already. That's impossible. Pro, pro, pro. Fine. I played by your rules just this one moment. I'm not listening. Ah. Are you sure about this? What, what are you even talking about? I can't hear you. Better luck next time. What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you. You're getting all riled up. What, what are you even talking about? Okay. You insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, this is the end. Nice. I was wondering what the hell I was trying to refute there, but now it all makes sense. Makoto Nayegi, that's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? One one zero three seven. Um, what was that again? You can't answer. Oh, it really isn't him. That's weird. Wait, you? Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Oh man, I've been found out. Found out? Then you're. <laughs> How disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track! Gah. He disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Then... That was just the work of Monokuma? Aww, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing, I just want to kill myself! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me! I may as well be invisible. May as well. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! Nightmare! Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! It's a much smarter game, right? What game? This game is already over! This game... Is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Tr transform A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know, like that one role-playing game? Which one specifically, Monokuma? You know what game I'm talking about, final... <laughs> Don't say it! <laughs> now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form! Never play Final Fantasy and just gotta put that out there. You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out! What's stuffing? He's not there. Fine, gotta find out, maybe. Let me swallow the Kuma again, please. What? I have a bad feeling about this. Like the inside of my brain is burning. Seriously, a pretty, really bad feeling. Now then, make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories.
Rip Akuma. Actually, no, Akuma's still alive, I'm pretty certain. Oh. Okay. Well, fuck. Yikes. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker and Ashima. Oof. <laughs> She's just gonna be there now? Oh my. I can't tell what's really breaking and what's not. I love that 3D model, it's great. What? What's going on? Uh, am I hallucinating? I, I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay! I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra-large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She, she's huge! She's way too huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Knifeorella! What? She said it anyway. Knifeorella? Is that a real game? I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. I was gonna say, what was the point of that camera shot? But then, okay, this is a bit strange. Hey, hey, want me to squeeze <coughs> you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. Uh, fetishes are a thing that I probably don't have. Uh, please don't. <laughs> I get fucking <laughs> if this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either. You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! Th this is Monokuma's true identity? This is crazy. We, we have to deal with this thing? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um... Is it just me, or did her personality change? I'd explain, but I'd rather let you play DR1 yourself, even though massive spoilers already, but still. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You... you are not bored at all! I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person's true identity? Byakuya Togami! I see! Are you... Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Yes, I do. Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity. What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit. You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Enoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hosuke Academy, the destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing. I can't believe she was really... From the very beginning, from episode 2. My god. Foresight. Even so, what am I supposed to do? 
Even if we know she's drunk or in Hiroshima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! <laughs> Hell no! Man, they hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Huh. Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? It was like real hard, you know? <laughs> That's a new one. The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? Right. By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? Completely out of mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long it took for Chuck and Ishima to modify the graduation program? We are watching how long it took. A certain place we were watching that was Jabberwock Park. I see. The bomb. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? Huh? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so overpredictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? Jeez. She's seriously messed up. Yes. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like, don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? But still... Who was the one who implement implemented the virus in the first place? Unless I completely missed that point being brought up. Like I said, it's e It's just a game, after all. Just a game. Yeah... Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Fine. 
I won't worry about it. Hey, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? Right. If she's saying that's how she tampered with a computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? Found a question. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. You, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Bada bing. Damn it! Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices? What are you... Device! <laughs> okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back with this. I can finally go back. He's right, with this we can finally go back, this will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. That it's safe to say that this is the good ending, right? I ain't gonna do nothing. Hey, what are you doing? Decided by a majority vote, so just figure out what you're doing here. Press graduate. Don't you wanna go back home? I don't care if you wanna stay here, but let's drag us into it. <sighs> okay. If you insist. Hey, that's a repeat button! Don't you get it? If we press that, we're stuck here, you know? You better not stay here. Better off staying here. Okay, fine. They really want me to graduate. This is a trap. I got it. Yes! Don't press it! This is Jugo's trap! <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> what the heck? That guy from earlier is back again! It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. This guy is the real Makoto Naegi. Real shit. Then this is the guy I spoke to? I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> Did you also find my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Ah, I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. <laughs> leaking. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, you must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means, you must respect my authority. Respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Oh, you always had such reckless hope. 
I love you so much that you distrust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. What do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Ooh. Then... Everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. They're going to be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Damn. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Heiko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind? begins here chunk of file mankind after uploading my alter ego into everyone who died i'm gonna take over the future foundation's headquarters and then eventually there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world surely a body wouldn't change to reflect junko herself right everyone would just be the same thing so that'd be male junko male people with junko's you know whatever with this my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete! That's Operation junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah! Our dreams are expanding and That messed up plan? Is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that was because there was something she didn't do. School trips rules. I see. Because she can't defy her own rules like shit, man. God, it's because of the school trips rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. Teacher cannot directly interfere with the students' exceptions. Yeah. So, the rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. 
so you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How... how can you be so cruel? Because Junko Enoshima is... the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. She sure does. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? One survive, right? Of course, why would it be anything else? I see. Are you talking about the reserve course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. M mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Probably what happened. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act, right? If that happens, Junko's ultra ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But Ultimate Despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice! Even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win! <laughs> The goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along! Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake? Is this really just a mistake? Is it a mistake to think we just go home alive all along? What about the killings in the class trials? Is this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs kill each other off? That... Yeah, this is just... Don't give up yet! There is a way you guys can get out of here, without letting Junko out! Yes, there is! No, no, there's no way such a convenient... There is? Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First she's heard of it. And it's a way that every, even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't know about, it might be that. Open up the thing, thank you very much, but da bing I see! about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. 
there was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Where'd she get a clipboard and a pen from? You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? Reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated. Not enough people? Oh, there's a way for me to check there now. Oh, no, there's a way for me to check. Shutdown sequence. Not even a teacher. Yeah, it uses security fight these impossibly. Perhaps it's not real. Oh no. The reason we kind of would lie about it. Oh, yeah, it is the reason. God. It's not enough people. Because there's not enough people? <laughs> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Please. Them. Please. Yes! That's not something you need to take your time saying. Dude. Believe. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Where is she? Chiyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come. Kyoko and Byakuya. We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Uh, I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. <laughs> Miyakuya, you're alive! But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for Akane, you. please just listen. Hear him out. You shut up, too. Are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. Six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued from the tragedy you spied and helped recover your memories. Tragedy? The Killing School Life is referred to that. You guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> They'll be treated like even bigger chumps. Chump, you said 
it again! Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed up world? Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Mm. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program... If we're going to revert back to our original selves before the program... Lose mono coins. I see! Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. No! Are, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision. But I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. For this reason, the ultimate remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like... Really? really? But, but still... Even if our brainwashing is undone... The memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that! It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless... vanish... Does that include her, too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also gonna forget she ever existed, right? Ugh, if that happens, does it really mean that... That we she in existence confined to this world is already going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, so we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. 
Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your death friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win, or will my despair win? All right! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire, this is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Fine, because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake! Hmm. What do you mean? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. Same outcome as the killing school life. I remember what occurred there. People drink alert, the method. Just try collecting those dots, there should be an answer there. Another logic dive, okay. Fine. Two. One. Bada bing, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want this main file, or like this raw file to go way too long, but I couldn't see any kind of suspension point at any point, so I'm gonna have to end it here and then continue next time with the logic dive. So, uh, yeah, like Jesus Christ, there's so many things that happened right now. I just want to get to the end of it. We're just so close, so. In the next episode of Mystery Mondays, we will take down Junko and Ashima, hopefully, and we'll just see what else that we'll really need to do in order to save the world, I suppose. So goodbye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. This is crazy.